Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing functions in Python. In the previous video, we have seen one coding exercise, how to calculate days in a month with the help of functions, right? Now you have noticed one thing. Uh, we are using somewhere uh, return statement in a function and somewhere we are simply printing, right? Now what is the difference between this print and return? When we should use print, when we should use return, right? So that's exactly in this video we will be discussing what is the difference between print and return with the help of example program practically i'll show you so we'll figure out all the differences between print and return now print is basically a function that we call right and it will whenever you want to show something to the user you can call print whatever you will write in the print that will exactly be seen to the user on the screen right some value or maybe any message or anything right but return is a keyword, right? So return is not going to show some value to the user. It is not printing, but printing will show some values or maybe any message or anything. Whatever you want to show to the user, you can use. Whenever you want to show something to the user, then you can use print. You can call print function, right? But it will not show some values or anything to the user. It is going to return where to the caller. Simple example is, let's take I'm 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 uh, writing a function. Now see one function I'm having any function one. It is accepting two arguments, right? So we are calling this function. We are passing five and four, and it is doing just some of these arguments. And here I'm just writing print, and here in this function I'm writing return C, return this C, right? So here it will simply print this value to the screen. But when control will come to this line, then what will happen? It will not show whatever the value of C to the user. It will return that value to the caller. Now where is the caller? Here. So it will return this value here. So now this complete would be replaced with 9. Now 9 would be stored in this output end. This we can print. We can print or anything we want to do with this value. right? Now, yeah, this function is obviously and every function is going to return something. If you are not writing this return statement here, it is going to return none. So if you here also you write output and then you print this output, then it will give first of all nine, then none. Because it is returning, every function is going to return. If you are not returning explicitly, then it will implicitly it will return none. So yeah, it will return none, right? Now, <clears throat> this return is going to change the flow of execution of the program. Because as soon as this is going to encounter, then control will go to the caller. When, wherever the caller in the program, means at one point of time, the flow of execution is this, like this, right? And suddenly it will, the control will switch to the caller. So it will change the flow of execution. But the sprint is not going to change the flow of execution. Right? And whenever this return would be encountered, it will stop the execution of the current function. Right? So we are in this function. So execution of this current function would be stopped and control will go to the caller. So after return, if you write something within this function, if suppose I am writing print high, then this will not be printed, right? Because exactly from here, the execution of this function would be stopped and we will be exit from this function and to the caller will be here, right? Okay, so, so return we will use when you want to move one value from one point to another point in your code, right? Now, the main difference is what, when we should use this return, when we should use this print. Because if you simply print here, that is also fine. We are printing here, but simply we are just printing here. It's not more than that we are doing here, right? But somewhere, if you want to do something with this value, whatever the value the function will return, you can pass, this point is important, you can pass that value as an argument to some another function, right? You can do whatever you want to do with that value. Suppose we have a function, another function, function 2. 
so here we will have some definition and in function two calling we can pass this output as an argument so further we can use this value because we are returning that value and we are accepting that thing so we can use that value further either we can print or we can uh, pass that value in as an argument to other function or we can do some other calculation and anything so that is a plus point if you want to do this kind of thing then we should use return rather than just print but if you are simply printing you are not returning the value so we can we cannot use this value further right this thing we, i'll show you with the help of program practically right so the value returned can be used again right but this is not the thing with print the value cannot be used again once you have printed the value that cannot be used again right and print we can use anywhere in the program but return we can only use within a function within a function that's it right so let me show you this thing with the help of practical okay so let's create a new file here print versus return dot py simply let's define a function same example we'll take and like just adding two numbers right so we will simply do like a plus b and in one case we will simply print c that's it and see we are calling this function we are passing 3 and 4 so it will print 7 right now rather than this let's just copy paste this thing and we will just comment this out right rather than print we will return this value return c so it is going to return this value this value to the caller so we will be storing this value in a variable output and in this case first thing we are simply printing this output so that is also will give you 7 so obviously you will you are not seeing any difference here i mean both are like same but if see if we are printing we are not returning here anything but i'm just modifying this a little bit output one output two function one function two so here see now let's comment this out now let me run this see seven plus none why none because every function is going to return something we are not returning here explicitly anything then it will return none so if you accept this thing in any variable and you print that variable then it will print none right now see the main thing the main advantage of you can say using this return return statement is what this value we can use further this return c it is now in output 2 so we can use further this value Re we can use this again so if suppose we are passing this in function 1 let's suppose i am passing a b not a b simply i am going to call this function function 1 and i'll pass output 2 this output 2 whatever it is returning that i am passing in function 1 so suppose i am one variable i am taking like x and i am returning x whatever the value is in that i will just add one simple one we, you can do anything you are not printing here and let us delete this and whatever this function will return i am storing that in final output variable right and then i will print this final output variable right so let us run this see it will print 8 why 8 because first of all this function would be called function 2 3 and 4 would be passed means 7 it will return 7 now again we are calling this function 1 and we are passing the 7 the output to whatever the output from that function then 7 plus 1 is 8 and the final output is 8 so we are passing whatever this this function will return we are passing that again as an argument to another function so we are using that value again right like if you are calculating something like 3 plus 4 in a calculator 7 then plus again then plus so previous 
present we are using and in the same we are doing add, 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 add like this. Same thing we will be doing in next video, same project like we are making a, we will be making a calculator, right. So then you will get it better, why we should use this return rather than simply just print, right. So I hope you got basic difference between print and return and when we should use return. So that was a simple one like difference between print and return but that is crucial also. You should have idea, you should be very clear about what is print, what is return, when to use print, when to use return, right. What is advantage of using return in which situation we are using return function, right. Now in the next video we will see one project, right. So now we will see in the next video. Bye -bye. Take care.